strengthening Europe's industry against the background of continuing high unemployment and weak demand in several EU member states was one of the key issues discussed during the EPP Group's bureau meeting here in Dresden on the invitation of the CDU Minister President of Saxony and former EPP Group member Stanislav Tillich. Dresden has overcome its devastating destruction during World War II and years of communist depression and has become a major economic powerhouse and cultural center in Eastern Germany. The discussions concentrated on exploring ways to build on and improve Europe's industrial base as a means for generating economic growth and fostering new employment opportunities. Stanislav Tillich also highlighted the importance of close cooperation at regional, national and European level. Joseph Dahl, chairman of the EPP Group, Herbert Royal, chair of the German CDU-CSU delegation of the EPP Group, as well as the co-chair Markus Ferber, stressed the importance of industry as a basis for future prosperity. Günther Oettinger, the European Commissioner for Energy, presented the Commission's actions to secure energy supply and decrease energy costs for the industry. Rutger Weiburg, General Manager and Senior Vice President of Global Foundries, one of the world's largest semiconductor foundries, asked for politics to look at the outside world and not to put up new barriers part of the industry is global and need to compete globally. So that means on the discussion we had today about the, the energy, um, Europe can be um, uh, saving energy, but Europe should not become, let's say, over expensive in energy. It should be about emissions. Europe uh, should certainly be, let's say, leading front on saving the earth, but we cannot be denying the fact that other people also need to do their task. And on the third thing I would say is on, particularly in my industry, which is very capital intensive and very important for many of the other industries like automotive, is that if you recognize that other areas in the world are actually subsidizing capital, then I think we should not be concerned of um, spending our monies on, on one hand innovation. Hans Müller Steinhagen, rector of the Dresdner University of Technology, underlined the problem that due to demographic change, there is a lack of qualified labor force, especially in Northern Europe. We certainly will have to increase the participation rate. That means we, get, we need to have more students from our own population. We will have to increase the success rate, which both we will still not have enough high potential. Um, we will have to increase the uh, number of students from overseas, from Asia, from Africa, from other countries who will come to Europe, study here and settle here. Herbert Royal concluded the first round of discussions by underlining the ingredients for a successful industrial policy mix. We need highly qualified people, and that means good education. We need to redirect funds to more funding for research and innovation. We need more free space and less burden, and that means, for example, we need urgently to get the explosion of energy costs under control. The European industry must have fair chances in the competition with the world, and I think we need a correction in Europe's industry policy. The APP Group is a credible partner for stronger European industry, which can deliver sustainable growth, create high-value jobs, and solve the societal challenges that we face. For more information on this and other topics, please visit our website eppgroup.eu. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.